guys and welcome to an exciting video because today we are unboxing a new colony. If you've been following my ant series, I mean it's been going on for years now, but I've mainly just had black garden ants. I briefly had harvester ants for a bit, but mainly black garden ants, quite a tame, normal species for me because you see them in the garden and then boom, I have some, so not too scary. But I wanted something different. I've been eyeing up carpenter ants for a while and I was talking to Ants HQ because they've updated their website they have a live chat feature on there and you're not just talking to an AI bot you're talking to an actual person and we got talking about what would be a good beginner species um a species that doesn't need to be hibernated what sort of things they would eat what nests ants hq would suggest obviously we were talking for a good 20 minutes so i had to cut this up a little bit but i thought i'd just show you some of our conversation i sort of asked how long it would take if i ordered something until it arrived what their live arrival guarantee would be so we had a really good conversation and i did decide on a species now obviously with anything you take on, whether it's a tiny ant or a dog, um, always do your research. So I obviously did my research into this particular carpenter ant species and um, they very generously have sent me the colony as well as the enclosures. So that's what we're gonna unbox today. So this is very well packaged. We have a very big box here, so let's pull this out. So this is really cool packaging, very shiny. This is a nest I actually currently use for my black garden ant, so for Liz's colony. It's a really nice uh, nest. This is actually um, a smaller one compared to hers, so I believe this is the first one. There's a second one, I'll link them both below, but that's really cool. Right, let's see what else we have. Right, so it looks like we've got put a few things together here. We've got some jellies in there and some rubber bands to put this all together. So that'll be a little project I'll do in a sec. Ooh, now this is something I'm really excited about because obviously we've seen the first nest before and the second one that I used for Liz. But this, when I saw I was getting carpet ants, I was like, please, can I try this one? Because it looks so cool. Look at this, this is so cool. So I did double check and the wood that these are made out of the carpenter ants shouldn't be able to chew through. But I just feel like being carpenter ants, being known for, you know, chewing through wood, making nests and wood, something like this just fit perfectly. And they have so many different types of enclosures like this and obviously the other one, I will link them below, but this is so cool. There's a nice heat pack in there, very nice. It's getting a little bit chilly here. Not too bad to be fair, but I imagine the nights are a lot chillier, especially for the ants. I believe this must be the ants, hopefully. I'm trying to be very careful. Okay, so this is really cool. We've got the Ants HQ card. We've got some invert shows, some coming up. And then we've got the ants perfectly placed in here. So let's take a closer look at them. Wow, look at those. Okay, coming from someone who has raised black garden ants from scratch and obviously the workers take a while to get big, these are big <laughs> compared to what I'm used to. Now, the cool thing of carpenter ants is there's different jobs for different workers so you get different sizes. The queen is in there. I don't know if you can see her because it's a little bit tricky on the focus. Let me see, my hand's not quite bright enough. Okay, so I've been busy building this, and this is the Outworld, it's massive. It's nice, sleek, easy to put together, but I am going to try something. I have a lot of leftover excavator clay that I only really use to experiment with things. I don't actually use it in my gecko tanks, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to maybe do a layer of it where it goes quite hard, because I don't want them to actually nest in there, but just make this look a little more interesting. Okay, it's the next day and this is almost dry. I can definitely see them taking it into their nest and using it, but I just thought it filled out the area quite nice. I'm now gonna go around the edges with this. And so this is meant to prevent them from getting out. <laughs> we'll try to climb up the side, so let's do that. Okay, 
then I quickly 3D printed this little thing. So basically it's a feeder which I'll put bee pollen, a bit of jelly and a bit of honey in. I also added a hole here so I'll be able to like sort of hook it out. So hopefully it should be easy to remove. And since this is still a little bit wet, I might just mold the floor flat enough so it fits in. I spent quite a bit of time ensuring this is connected because the last thing I want is anyone escaping. I might even go back afterwards and put maybe some Gorilla Glue or something there. Just It is in there tight, but I'm just worried if I ever move this, um, I just don't want it to disconnect. So without further ado, let's release the ants, which, you know, I've always been used to black garden ants, which if they get out and they don't really bite, but carpenter ants are a whole new thing to me. So I'm a tad nervous, but um, they have been released. Let's see how they, if they go over to the food or if they try to escape. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is slightly terrifying. They're just super big and uh, they're trying to get out. Hopefully the barrier lasts better than it does in my black garden and enclosure. They're really, the floor is just absolutely crawling. We do need a name for the queen, so leave your suggestions in the comments below. Obviously my other queen is called Liz. Oh, you're gonna have some, a little bit of jelly mixed with honey infused. We have an escapee. Okay, so I just reapplied even more stuff. If you have any other suggestions of stuff that just 100% works to stop ants getting out, let me know. Um, but we already have one worker in here, checking it all out. I quite like how it all sort of loops around. So interestingly, nobody really seems interested in the food at the moment. I guess they're too busy exploring, but what I'm gonna do, because it's this evening now, I'm going to leave them overnight to settle. I'm gonna make them a little cover out of probably card just to go over this and we'll report back tomorrow. It's the next day and what I did was just put this black bag over the top uh, but I know Ants HQ would like to eventually get some sort of red cover so you can see the ants and it won't disturb them but Oh my god, there's an escapee. The reason I actually put them in here, this is a different room to the reptile room, is because, oh my god, there's another one. I also just found another one on the floor, so they're definitely escaping. Um, the reason I put them in here, because I was so worried that if they did escape overnight, they could get into like my other ant colony or the geckos. So they're actually in a separate room. Luckily, they're big enough that I can find them, but now they are escaping. So I think somewhere along the line, uh, it's not connected very well, or... Where I put this dirt in, or the excavated clay, you see it's caused a little gap. Now, they are quite big, so I wouldn't have thought they would get out. But somewhere they are escaping. Lesson learned, I don't think I was meant to put anything in here, anything that would lift this up. So what I have done is gone around and sealed the bottom. And so far, fingers crossed, I haven't seen any more escape. So what I find really interesting in here, is how they're covering everything with the excavated clay whether it's water or food i don't know what that's about but they're doing that but the vast majority are in the nest here and if i don't disturb them too much i might be able to show you the queen so there she is but yeah, as I said, all of this comes from Ants HQ. I'll leave their links below. But thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye.